in this section, we're going to represent set sizes on the Venn diagram. So here, we'll let the number of elements in the universal set be 10, the number in A to be 7, the number in B to be 6, and the number of A intersect B to be 4. When you're working out set sizes, you always want to start from the middle. So here we have the middle A intersect B, which is 4. So A intersect B is this middle area here. So that's 4. So now we know that the middle area is 4. We can figure out what this area is, this crescent region here. Since the number of elements in B is 6, so this is entire B has 6 in it, and the 4 is over here, that must mean it leaves 2 this area. In the same way, for the number of elements in A is 7, so this crescent shaped region here on this side is going to be 3. And now, since we know that the universal set is 10, and here we have 9 in the middle, so that must mean that that leaves 1 on the outside. So by working through that, we realize that the number of elements in A union B is 9, and the number of elements in A union B prime is 1. Here's a useful formula to use. It's called inclusion-exclusion, but you don't really need to know the name. Just know how to use it. So this says the number in, of element in the set A union B is the number of elements in A plus the number of elements in B minus the number of elements in A intersect B. Now you can straight up memorize this formula, but it's better to know why it works. So here you you know, A union B is this middle region here. And when we add A and B together, we add A and add B, we've counted the middle twice. So if we take it out once, then we would just have these three regions added together, which is what A union B is. So you count the middle twice, you take it out once. That's how this formula works. Here are more useful formulas. The number of elements in A plus the number of elements in A prime is the number of elements in the universal set. So that's just simply any set and this complement will add up to the universal set. And here you have the number of elements in A intersect B plus the number of elements in A intersect B prime is the number of elements in A. And here you can see A intersect B is this middle region here and A intersect B prime, which is the A without the B, is this crescent-shaped region here. So we add this region and this region together, you have the entire of A.